King Charles and Queen Camilla have been accused of launching a kick in the teeth at staff as a row erupts over two staff members' pay. The annual report, which was released last month, showed that the King's male private secretary is paid more than double the salary of Queen Camilla's female top aide. The report, which sets out taxpayer-funded expenditure, showed that Sir Clive Alderton is paid between £205,000 and £210,000, while Sophie Dinsham receives somewhere between £90,000 and £95,000. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Speaking out about the pay gap, a former senior courtier said, I'm really shocked by the disparity and I'm astonished by Sophie's salary, that is a kick in the teeth. They describe Ms. Dinsham, who is a mother in her 40s, as a real grafter and regarded her royal role as a massive, and, bloody busy job. It has been reported by The Times that Ms. Dinsham is almost always by Camilla's side on official engagements, whereas Alderton only attends the King's most high-profile outings. A royal source, who also knows both staff members well, said, whether you think there's a disparity in the pay because of their sex, rather than their seniority, there is a question there. Harry and William's rift could only have been healed by one person, latest, Sophie is known as being a very capable and dedicated support to the Queen. The report also disclosed that Sir Alderton is provided with housing for the better performance of his duties. The 56-year-old, who began working for the now King Charles in 2006, is understood to currently live in accommodation at Marlborough House, which is located a short walk from his Buckingham Palace office, and is next to Clarence House. The housing rent, which remains undisclosed, is deducted from his salary at a rate agreed with the Treasury. Meghan and Harry tip to split and explore solo opportunities, latest, don't miss. Meghan's new Netflix project not going to work as Harry leaves US for Africa, live, Harry's Frogmore claim questioned by official Sovereign Grant report, latest, King Charles will have very tough time in first Balmoral summer without Queen, exclusive, Ms. Dinsham, who is often been described as a safe pair of hands, joined Camilla's private office in 2008. Due to the timing of her joining the office, Ms. Dinsha played a poignant role in helping Camilla to adjust to royal life, as well as helping to boost her public image. In 2015, she began working as Camilla's assistant private secretary, before becoming her private secretary in 2021. Express.co.uk has contacted Buckingham Palace for a comment.